Tom, is a lot of stuff going on on these underground bases. I get reports that these underground bases are being expanded, made bigger, and working on more of them. Now, why would the government, when we're so short of money, right? Why are they working on these underground bases and making them bigger? Are they scared well, you, we're going to be in nuclear war? Or is it because maybe they know what the future is going to be and they want to save a, a percentage of the population, <clears throat> depending on what no, part of the population? That's another, interesting, that's another interesting thing. There's that thing called the, uh, the trumpet boom phenomenon where um, supposedly we... There's two reasons for that. Number one, they are, in fact, expanding, uh, like you said, the tunnels and... and um, they're trying to get, you know, bunkers that are two and three miles down for the social elite. But the supposedly there's also a war going on between um, us and uh, alien groups like tantaloids, and you hear that uh, that trumpet-like sound. Uh, and I I can't remember exactly. A friend of mine, in fact, Corey is very up on that. I'm sorry that I I don't have him with us on the line, but. He explained to me that the type of uh, high-tech weaponry that they were using that makes a sound like that, and then you hear this huge explosion. And supposedly that's what's going on down there. It's, it's twofold. One, they're, they're building uh, caverns, or they're expanding caverns for the social elite to live in, and they're stocking them up with food, water, you know caviar, booze, <laughs> Videos, <laughs> whatever, yeah. uh, to make them happy. But uh, there's also uh, allegedly a war going on down there, too, and that's what uh, Mary Joyce talks about. Well, there could be, possibly. We don't know. I see that, but again, now people are going, okay, why would there be people underground? Well, think about it. If at one point the Earth was rebooted, right? They're talking now. We, we got these underground bases. We got bases where the wealthy can go, the politicians can go, the elite can go, and they can be safe. Okay? And they can live for a year or two underground or longer. Then we have, well, the rich people building bunkers underground. Think about that. Now, if something happened and these people at one time, let's go back if the earth was rebooted. Those people maybe went underground the same way that we're building, you know, uh, underground bases and cities and stuff, right? Huge cities to protect. Maybe uh, they did the same thing in certain areas of the world and they went underground because that was the only way they could survive. And, you know, so some of these far-fetched movies like The Mole People maybe aren't so far-fetched when you think about it. That was a great classic. I always enjoyed that one. Yeah, except for the costumes. Let's, let's face it, very poor. <laughs> well, they, yeah, you could see the zippers in the back, but other than that. <laughs> well, you know, when you look at, at, at the plan that the social elite has for uh, you and me and James and everyone that's listening, you know, we're totally expendable. They don't care. So, you know, whatever happens, uh, as long as, as they're happy and they're they're safe, you know. Um, I don't think they really care too much about what happens to, to uh, any of us, and that's my opinion. Um, now, with that said, am I going to continue to to write music and perform and, uh, you know, have a good time with my band? Of course I am. But, uh, you know, it's in the back of my mind that, uh, you know, the social elite that really control things on this globally on this planet, number one, they're not... They're not playing all the cards that they have. They're not going to show you their deck, and uh, they're not going to show you their hand. Um, I, I think that one of the things that I, I've just absolutely, you know, become disgusted, and I'm, I'm talking about both sides of the aisles when I hear this this rhetoric, and I, I listen to the on the news every day. The right says, "Oh, we love you," and the left says, "Oh, we love you," and I'm going. <laughs> And good thing I didn't have too much tea because I'm about ready to lose my lunch. You know? <laughs> I think I've lost my lunch more than one occasion listening to the news. <laughs> I stay away from the news because I, I tell you what, if I, I am political and it's really hard to separate that sometimes from doing this show. But I mean, some of the stuff that, you know, they flat, how can I say it, lie to us 
And you'd have to be naive. I mean, somebody got busted here yesterday showing in Daytona a 747, right? And a big crowd of people. And, and, and it's because Trump was there, you know, doing this thing. And But the problem is it came out really quick. Well, that picture was from the original Bush back in 2004. That isn't the current one where somebody just went. And they quickly pulled it down off of Twitter and all the different social medias. I mean, this is how they... Are we that naive, people? I don't think so anymore. Well, all I can say is... uh the way that you can tell if a politician is lying is their mouth is moving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's about it. And if they smile, you know if they smile, <laughs> you got a problem. And I want to run. <laughs> but I know people, seriously, that have built bug-out underground places because they're not worried about a war with Russia or China. They're getting worried about what's happening in our future earth changes so they're stocking up enough food to last for a year or two or three enough you know everything and and some of these things are getting really elaborate i was talking to a guy who has one in eastern washington very elaborate and him and his family they feel they could survive uh, through earth changes at least for two years underground or longer because they can grow their own food. They have figured a way to, you know, reproduce water or get water uh, and all this stuff. So, I mean, people are thinking about that. Well, you know, Gary, in, in years gone by, I used to actually stock up, uh, you know, uh, water, food, and things like that, uh, among other things. And uh, more and more, I think the older I get, I I am really blessed with the with the fact that I have some great people that I've met. Uh, I get to work with them. I'm doing what I want to do, and that's that's making music, uh, and I'm making it with people that are very like minded. And uh, you know, anymore, I think that all I can do is the best that I can. Uh, I'm not storing huge stocks of water, or food, any of that stuff anymore, because my basic premise is. You know, this is, <laughs> I think this is a giant school school room that we're in. We're here to learn, um, I think, from a spiritual perspective. And uh, I think that uh, cosmic love is probably the, the highest vibration that there is, and that's my opinion. And I think that uh, even with all of these, the alien agendas going on, and there's more than one with, with the human agendas that are basically... Um, you know, hand in glove with some of the alien agendas. They're basically doing their bidding. Um, I, I think it's going to get, we're going we're gonna to go on a real interesting roller coaster ride. Uh, I think that eventually, and I do mean eventually, uh, there'll be a new beginning. And, uh, you know, you talk about we, we've been rebooted more than once, and that doesn't particularly bother me. Because I think that there's that, uh, you can call it uh, a cosmic spark, a divine spark, whatever you want. I think the essence of Gary, I think the essence of uh, Tom, I think the essence of James is going to continue on. And, and if it has to feel uh, a, a different form, does that bother me? Nope, not one bit. Because I think that that, that essence of who you are is going to continue on. And... and uh, you know, we may just be at the end of an experiment, but, you know, I think for, for, for some people that may not have any components, so to speak, that maybe they have something to worry about. I don't think that, you know, in particular it bothers me. It doesn't bother anyone in my band that much. Um, but well, that's my opinion. Yeah, but we're getting older. So, I mean, when you get older, you don't think the way you did when you were 30 years old 30 40 50 years old you think about your family your wife your kids still living at home and then you look at things different when you get older you just don't look at it the same way you look at well i had a good life i done this and that if something happens hey i had a good time but when you're younger you worry more i mean you know I, I, you know, how can I say it? I, I look at every day and I see people I know that are passing on 
even a few years younger than me, and it's on a regular basis now. And that alone is scary. But I think that what we have to worry about is that, one, I think we're being lied to. I think earth changes are very, very real. I think that the Space Force has been going on for a long time, and this is kind long. of... Long. Pardon me? Long time. Yeah. yeah. Very and, long time. And I think this is just trying to cover up what it was, you know, what was happening. I think something is happening down the stretch that I got a funny feeling they can't cover it up much longer. I know somebody who's in the government who told me that the FEMA camps are very much set up to be active right now type of situation if something happens. And why do we have FEMA camps? You know, why do do we need FEMA camps? There's like multiple prisons all across the country in each state is con- to control us if something does go on. Are we... A million or one polycarbonate coffins can't be wrong. Yeah, well, you... Oh, know, that's right. They don't exist. I'm sorry. No, they got <laughs> moved after they were shown on national, on Fox TV. <laughs> the next day, they were gone. Um, why do you need that many coffins? Isn't that kind of strange? Well, I think that uh, you're right. There's there's a move afoot, and they're not going to, you know, they're not going to tell you what it is. But there may be, there may be one than more than one agenda that they're they're wondering about, and uh, they're preparing for. So, I think that people like you and I can just do the best research that we can uh, on our own, and uh, you know, keep our ears open, keep our eyes open, um, keep our minds open, and uh, you know, listen and uh, hope that we are able to get some truth. Well, I can say this. I think that that's what really all of us want, is we, we want a truth. I we, don't know if we, we want can... to know what's going on. Yeah, I don't know if we can handle it. That's the other issue. Now, hey, Tom, we need to take a break. We'll be back in eight minutes, so if you want to get something to drink and relax, we're going to do the break, and then James is going to come on giving us Earth and, uh, you know, uh, world news. So everybody, just stay tuned. You're listening to Night Dreams Talk Radio with our great guests here tonight, so stay tuned. You thirst for some significance of the both dimensional kind. You enter a realm of spirit, of sight and sound and mind. Your radio is a cosmic doorway and your psyche begins to spark. When you tune in to Gary and the Sun and Night Dreams After Dark. (laughs) 